Hello everyone. In this video, we will be solving proportion using the giant one. There's also another video that talks about solving proportion using cross multiplication. I will put the link of that video in the description box below. But today, we will be using giant one to solve proportion. So let's take this first example here. So I have here 3 fifths is equal to 12 over x. Our task is to determine what the x is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for this number right here, 3 and 12. What number do I multiply to 3 to make it to 12? I may not be able to do that over here. What number do I multiply to 5 to make it to x? Because that's x right there. So I have to, to use this 3 and 12. So what number I have to think? What number do I multiply to 3 to make it to 12? So that number would be 4. So when I multiply 4 to 3, I will also multiply 4 to the uh, denominator. So both numerator and the denominator will be multiplied by 4. Now, if we have 4 divided by 4, that's actually 1. That's why this is called the giant 1. So I'm going to put a number 1 right here. We call this actually as uh, the giant 1. So let's uh, let's have this as our giant 1 right here. So if we multiply these two, 4 times 3 is 12. And so that is 4 times 5 is 20. And that is equal to the other side. That's 12 over x. Now, as you can see, the top both tops here are actually the same. That means that both denominators would also be the same. So then our x is 20. So since both the numerator and the denominators are the same, I mean, both numerators are the same. So then our x is 20. Now let's take this next example right here. So I have to figure out what number do I multiply to 7 so that I am able to get a 63. And that number would be 9. So if I multiply 9 times 7 would be 63. So I'm going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 9. Now, if I divide 9, divide by 9, that's actually 1. So that's why this method is called the giant 1, because we are multiplying. Um, we're multiplying the left side of the equation with a 1, which is called the giant 1. And from here, we have 9 times x is 9x. And that is over 9 times 7 is 63. And that is equal to 18. And that is over 63. As you can see here, both the denominators are the same. That means these two are also the same. They're equal to each other. So then I can go ahead and say 9x is equal to 18. So then if I divide both sides by 9, divide this by 9. So then I'm able to get x is equal to 2. So that's x would be equal to 2. Or I can just go ahead and do the math here. 9 times what number that is should equal to 18. So this number should be 2. So if I multiply 9 times 2 is 18. And that's how I got the x is equal to 18. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So first, we are going to figure out what number do I multiply to 5 to make it to 15. So then that number would be 3. So then I will mul multiply the numerator by 3 and the denominator by 3. And if I divide 3 divided by 3, that's actually 1 right there. Again, that's the reason why we have we call this as the giant one. So please remember that it should be both the numerator and the denominator that will be multiplied or else you, we, we are not multiplying it by the giant ones. It has to be both numerator and denominator because others missed it oh, and they multiply no. only the numerator or just the denominator. It has to be both of them. So then from here, we can go ahead and um, say this is 18 over 15 is equal to x times 3 is 3x is equal to 15. So both denominators are the same. So then we can go ahead and say that these numerators are the same. So then we can go ahead and write 18 is equal to 3x. And then we divide both sides by um, 3 because we want to so we want to know what x is. So then we go ahead and cross this out. So our x is 6. So that is the value for our x. Or we can just go ahead and figure out 3 times Num what number that is that would give us 18. So that x would be 6. So 3 times 6 is 18. Did you get the same answer as this? 
Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next example right here. So I we have to figure out what number do we multiply to 6 so that it becomes 36. So that number would be 6. So I multiply 6 and 6, that's 36. Again, it should be both numerator and denominator. Others missed it, that they only multiply to the numerator. It has to be both of them. So I'm going to divide, I mean, I'm going to multiply the denominator by 6 also. So that here we have 6 divided by 6 is actually 1. One. And so this is called the giant one. So I'm going to label that as a giant one right there. So this is called the giant one because 6 divided by 6 is just 1. And if we multiply 1 to any number, it's the same number. So it's not going to change. So then from here, I can go ahead and rewrite 36 over x is equal to 6 times 6 is 36. And that's over 8 times 6 is 48. So I'm going to write 48 right here. So then both numerators are the same. So then we can go ahead and say our x or this denominator right here should also be 48 since both numerators are the same equal to 36. So that is 48. Did you get x for as 48 on this answer right here? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.